Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Sipsville. We are in Sipsville. Um, what did we do last episode? We did tons. We are, we're turning Sipsville into an industrial powerhouse, uh, and rightly so. Uh, we can probably get rid of the recycling center in Sip City now because we've got this one uh, up and running. There's 278.8 uh, crates of plastic sitting in the recycling center. And of course, we've offered out all of our recycling trucks to San Francisco and uh, Sip City as well. So, um, so that's great. That seems to be working very well. We got this uh, trading HQ set up last episode as well. We can nearly upgrade it. Once we do upgrade it, we could probably... Uh, think about getting the electronics division, which is what we're going to need so that we can make computer storage lots and stuff as well. We don't need the metals and the petroleum division. We definitely want this electronics division. Uh, so that's what we'll be aiming for next. Um, what else do we need to do in this city? I, we should be... Yeah, we are. Okay, great. This is up and running. Uh, is it complaining about power? Holy shit. Do we have power problems in the city? <laughs> we seem to. My god. Crude oil supply has somehow run out, and that'll probably be to do with the fact that we're actually exporting oil, which we don't need to anymore. Fine. We're going to export a ton of oil and just use it on Ultra Bastard. I don't know how this has actually happened. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, we, we have no power. Uh, well, we can't even... Even if we want to, look at this, crude oil storage lot. Where, where are the delivery trucks? It's just closed. They can't actually do anything with this power at the moment uh, because there's not now no power in the city and therefore the region uh, because of this complete lack of uh, crude oil. Is this the end of Sipsville? It was going so well and now all of a sudden it has gone uh, very bad. Can, can anyone deliver crude oil here? Possibly? Is this tra trade depot open? No, it's closed. Everything is probably closed. Look at this. The uh, sewage treatment plant, closed. The garbage dump, closed. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, the hair and glue factory as well, closed. My God. Cr crude oil supply, hello? There's, actual, there's actually oil in the city, which is crazy. Uh, there's just nothing open to deliver the oil to the, uh, to the oil power plant. Ultra bastard. How the hell are we going to do this? Current accept global deliveries of crude oil? I guess we're going to have to. Do we want to do that? We might have to just for now, <laughs> I guess. Uh, because, like I said, there's nobody to actually deliver the crude oil uh, because everything is closed. Uh, Sipsville is just closed for business, everybody. These buses and cars and stuff don't even need to be here because nothing is open because there's no power. We're just waiting now for... Oh, there we go. Jesus Christ. Uh, we might want to leave that on because look at Ultra Bastard chews through the crude oil like there's no tomorrow, basically. It thinks that today is the last day that it will ever have to chew through crude oil uh, and, and therefore actually chews through it at an alarming rate. It's nuts. Okay, fine. There's more than enough in there now. We can stop accepting global crude oil deliveries. Jesus Christ. Uh, and we should slowly come back online with power in the rest of the city. Holy crap. That was nuts. That was so close. Jesus. We're actually going to dip below a million. And it's probably all thanks to that um, slight hiccup in the supply chain. Fine. Uh, we will no longer export crude oil then. We'll make sure that we have plenty in reserve uh, at all times to fuel up the most important building in the region, uh, arguably. Ultra bastard, ladies and gentlemen. Look at it go. Just furiously chugging away down there, uh, chugging through the crude oil and uh, creating electricity for everybody in Sips Water Valley. Holy shit. Okay, excellent. Fine. Everything seems to be back in order somewhat. Uh, I think slowly uh, places are coming back online. Oh, no. Everything is back online power-wise, uh, except for this abandoned building, uh, which was without power. Oh, look. There's a whole bunch of abandoned buildings now we need to get rid of. God damn it. Jesus. Look at all these. I'm going to have to knock them all down. I'm going to have to knock down these, uh, these residences as well, these abandoned buildings. Get them rebuilt, uh, and that should hopefully actually help our hourly income, which doesn't really matter at the moment because we're exporting a whole bunch of alloy and uh, fairly soon probably processors and stuff as well. How much... 
uh, plastic do we have here? Not enough, actually. We could do with having another oil well so that we can get the Petro HQ, so that we can get the uh, oil refinery and start making some more plastic uh, to go along with our alloys so that we can make these processor plants. So fine, let's do that. Uh, we'll spend some more money uh, and get another oil well with full pump jacks up and running. Uh, do we want to have it like here? 94.3, no, it needs to be like here, I guess. 115,000 barrels, that might just do it. Uh, maybe we'll have it here, 94.3, and then we can actually have the, um, we can have the road extend down and make use of all of this oil that's uh, on the other side of the road from the other one. Fine, okay, I'm gonna place it here. Uh, this should be fine. All right, great. Let's edit this. Uh, spin around here. Place the very important sign. Let's get all of our delivery trucks ready as well. Great. Uh, and let's get the road extended out this away to make uh, as much use as possible of all of this oil. Now, we want to place a pump jack here. Is there going to be room for a pump jack down there? Oh, this is going to be this is going to be pretty sweet if this works out actually. Is that? No, there's not enough room. <laughs> God damn it, Jesus. We're going to have to move that up a little bit. Okay, fine. That's okay. We've got tons of money and we can move it up a little bit. doesn't need to be exactly on the road there. We can get rid of that. Get rid of this and move the road up ever so slightly so that we can do it like this. We can fit like two, I guess, possibly. How much is going to come out of here? 93.4. Fine. Uh, and then if we extend the road down here as well, we'll get what 121.34k okay excellent fine and we can have uh, another one here and on this side as well uh, and then just do the same all the way down that should be absolutely fine okay great perfect uh we'll get this max oh geez look at this it doesn't fit it should, <laughs> it should fit it actually looks like it's gonna fit but it doesn't okay fine we're gonna have to just move this road over ever so slightly to like here i guess needs uh, a lot of extra room fine we're not making like the best use of space and uh, of course there's no reason why that shouldn't be able to go there uh, but for some reason you can't put it there I, I i don't get it fine do we have to connect it up do you think maybe to the road is there going to be enough room now just yeah uh, well i mean it does fit there now as well which is kind of dumb but there we go fine two more uh which we can place right here and here and we should be up and running our second oil well full of pump jacks uh ready to go closed now hiring closed now hiring everybody is turning up to work do we want another bridge like the other side uh and does it matter if we actually build it through the... No, it doesn't really. I don't think we're going to have too many more oil wells. Let's have another bridge. That would be great. And then people can get down here a little bit more easily. We'll have the uh, we'll have the road go directly through the runway of the municipal airport, where, of course, nobody is working. Are we having problems with workers once again? I think we are, actually. I think it's because it was without power. And uh, now we've probably got all the traffic coming in from the region now that everything is powered back up again. So it's going to probably take a little while for places to fill up with workers again uh, because unfortunately I think that is just the way that it works in this game fine ultra bastard once again running out of oil do we have any oil stored no we don't because of course we have no workers to work at the oil field so once again we'll be accepting global crude oil deliveries because we don't want to be in a situation once again where we're completely without power in Sipsville holy shit this is a lot harder than it should be. We were doing very well last episode, but it seems to all be going to hell this episode. That's fine. We'll leave that um, global deliveries on for a little while just uh, to get everything back up and running again. Look at all the buses on this road. There's literally a million buses on this road. Shit. Worst mayor ever. Holding an approval rating of below 50% for 24 hours. Uh, it... It wasn't very hard. I think people are generally just so unhappy in this city uh, because there's only 65 of them. Um, and it's just a polluting hellhole of a city. Uh, but it makes quite a bit of money, uh, which is which is always good. Uh, well, when everything is up and running, which of course at the moment it is not. Is this because they're out of, no, building fire? Not enough places to ship freight and no power? Okay, fine, we'll have those places um, Oh, I guess, yeah, of course. There probably isn't anywhere to ship freight because the airport is closed. And I don't think any of these tra trade depots are offering uh, any of the industry in the city the uh, opportunity to export freight. Great. God, the problems just keep getting worse. 
Uh, it's okay, though. We'll be fine. We'll be absolutely fine. As soon as people start turning up to work, uh, things will start going a lot better. I'm sure of it. Great. Uh, we may need to send some more money over from Sip City, uh, but that's okay. We can head back over to Sip City in due time and uh, get rid of the recycling center because it's no longer needed. Uh, is there anyone working here? No. We haven't actually gained any plastic in like the longest time. I guess uh, maybe we need to go over to the other cities and have the recycling trucks come through and so that it can like decide how much uh, recycling it's going to be able to do. Is that how it's going to work? Possibly? Maybe? I might actually need to phone uh, my mom and ask her after, because she plays this, this game a lot. Look at these fucking buses. Look at this. It's an army of buses all following each other, trying desperately to be the first bus to pick up all the people. Uh, and none of them are winning because there's nobody in this city right now. Uh, certainly not at 11.30 p.m. I don't think anyone's working, although there are lots of lights on in uh, most of these places. Look at that. The Triple Dip Goo Factory is still annoyed that they needed workers, but everything seems to be working out okay now. Oh, is there actually people here? There's some lights on, but there's nobody... Oh, no. It's the sign. <laughs> Sorry, from far away, it looked like windows. Uh, I guess not, though. How are we doing with our monthly... No, we're not. Because, look. All these places are closed and now abandoned. Fuck. Holy shit. All right. We're going to knock all of these down. Hopefully, because these places are so abandoned and there's not enough workers, uh, maybe people will start working at other places. Like, uh, for instance, the airport. And maybe uh, the smelting factory would be nice as well. No? Just me? I mean, I would probably work at the smelting factory over uh, Gloop and Goo or, or wherever else uh, these people are deciding to work. I think uh, come the morning, the morning rush hour, we should see uh, a bit of a better situation with people actually uh, occupying all of the jobs in the city instead of uh, just like a quarter of them. And I think it's still off the back of... The uh, fact that Ultra Bastard uh, was without crude oil uh, and brought the entire city to standstill. Holy shit. It's a bit of a crisis situation. I wasn't actually expecting this episode uh, in Sipsville to be a crisis situation. I was hoping that we'd get the processor plant up and running and potentially uh, some more oil getting drilled, the Petro HQ and a couple of other things. But it's just a little setback. Look, it's 5.30 a.m. Uh, rush hour is about to start. It looks like people are actually turning up to work at this trade depot and amongst other places, which is quite good. Oh, look, the whole city is bustling now. There's enough jobs for everybody. Look, everybody is now leaving the city, deciding that they don't want any of these crappy jobs. Uh, wow, look at this. There's a construction of a new mill in the city. Oh, that must be this. Look at the size of this thing. Holy shit. Great. Uh, well, we're only $8,000 an hour in the hole, uh, which is <laughs> which is an all-time high for us, actually. I think we've broken every um, bad record in the book in this city. Pollution, probably terrible. I don't even know if I want to check. Should we check to see what uh, ground pollution is like? Wow, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. God, I, I was expecting the entire map to just be brown, but it's not too bad at all. What about air pollution? Oh, well, air pollution is fairly bad, and uh, it's all wafting into uh, Sip City as well, but, which is fine, though, because uh, there's enough Bon Jovi concerts there to keep people's mind off of it, so uh, great. Just pretend you never saw that, actually. It's a little bit embarrassing, the uh, the amount of, uh, of, of air pollution that's uh, being produced. And Wow, <laughs> there's still nobody working in this city. How does, it, how does it do it? How does it manage? There's nobody. There's absolutely nobody. Uh, there's a region full of people. None of them will come to work in this city. I, I, I don't get it. I, I seriously don't get it. Look, everywhere is, is closed and needs workers. Fine. We're out of here. <laughs> Going back to Sip City. Jesus Christ. Good Lord. Maybe it just needs to, to, to realize that there's other people in the region or something. I don't know. I've given up guessing how this fucking game works, to be honest. Uh, because, let's face it, it doesn't really work. Fine. We're back in Sip City. Fair Sip City. At least this city somewhat works. 4,500 uh, bucks an hour in the green, which is fantastic. And 1.7 million in the bank, uh, which is also very good. Uh, we don't need this anymore, uh, Alloy. Uh, because we also don't need this anymore. So, Pencil Dick, if you don't mind, 
thank you. And also, we're going to waste 10 tons of alloy, which we don't care about. Fine. Closed. Everything is closed. We're now 7,200 uh, in the green, which is very good. Uh, Pencil Dick obviously does not uh, drive Killdozer. We leave that to Paint Sniffer, so there we go. I'll do it, and I'll do it. Great. No more garbage, no more recycling. That's all being handled by Sipsville if anybody ever decides to go over there and work ever again. Uh, from what we saw like two minutes ago, that doesn't seem to ever uh, be the case. Uh, we seem to always have problems um, getting people to, to work in Sipsville. But it's fine. We'll, we'll sort it out. We'll, we'll figure it out at some point, hopefully. And, uh, and things will hopefully just turn out uh, for the best. But... Uh, but you never know. We, we live in hope anyway. How are we doing here? We have zero tourists uh, waiting to depart, and we've had 80 tourists arrive today. That's not too bad. Well, how's the ferry terminal doing? 943 tourists a day. That's going up slowly, uh, but, but it's very good. It's 7.30 a.m. We've probably missed our slot for the Bon Jovi concert at the Pro Stadium. We still can't really pack out the Pro Stadium. I'm wondering if it's worth actually getting the Expo Center back. Uh, just in the meantime, or maybe thinking about getting like another cool landmark like the Arc de Triomphe. How big is this? It's not very big. I, I don't know if, if you guys are like me, but I like really, really big landmarks. Oh, look at the Eiffel Tower, 550,000. Whoa, the Eiffel Tower is quite big. Holy shit, it's huge. Look at it. My god. We could put it like right outside of City Hall as well. 550,000. My god, that would be fantastic. Or do we want to put it like around here, like maybe in this area? Have like some nice like park area all around it. Just make it like the place to be in Sip City. No? Oh, what's this? Oh, it's because I'm in the um, culture menu. That's why it's got like this statue on it. That's pretty cool. Uh, what about all this stuff? Empire State Building. A lot of people are saying that I should build the Empire State Building. And look at it. It looks fantastic. Holy shit. Look at the size of it. It's absolutely huge. Which is the other one? The Willis Tower is also very big. Look at that. Ooh, we'll just have the Willis Tower sort of hover around in Sip City to, uh, to convince people at the ferry terminal to actually stay and not just board another boat and get out of here. That'd be good. Uh, stadiums, Expo Center, 150000 We could definitely pack this out and make some money off of it. Uh, I'm wondering if we should do that until our tourism is up and running and a little bit better for the, for the uh, Pro Stadium. Let's do it. Let's have an Expo Center and also a Pro Stadium. I, I, I think we can do it. I think we can just about do it. I don't know where we're going to put this Expo Center now, though, because it sort of was here at one point and, it, and now isn't. Do we want to have them side by side or do we want to like sort of have the Expo Center up in this area of town and maybe get some more people here and make some better use of the train station? That might work, actually. It might work to actually place it, like, here, along this road. I wonder. Well, let's think about it. We don't need to rush into anything, at least. Um, I don't know if that's going to be, like, a huge waste of money or not, actually, thinking about it. Um, do we want to schedule another event after 8 o'clock? I think we do. We'll try it out. We've got more tourists coming in now with the new airport and everything. So we might be able to pack it out. Who knows? We'll try it. Fine. Uh, is there anything else that we need to be building here? How are we doing with pollution in this area now that we've gotten rid of all this stuff? There's only a little bit of shit left on the ground here and over here as well. That's very good, my god. Are there enough trees there to suck up all that shit? Pretty much. You can almost see the shit sort of in between the trees here. Look at this. This is just like a little tiny turd. Uh, I mean, when you think of how polluted this area was before, we've actually done a very good job to clean it up. Holy shit. My god, look at this down here. What a mess. Look at all the buses. My god, it's because 6,300 people a day are actually riding on these buses. And look at all the tourists we're packing into this as well. That's pretty good, actually. Okay, great. Uh, it's just gone, uh, so we can do uh, an event. Let's go for uh, Monster Truck Rally? Oh, world championship. Oh, look at this. Event cost 225000 but look, we can make 450000 off the back of it. We can have uh, the world championship football match. Fine. I'll do it. Here we go. The first ever football match to uh, appear in Sip City. It's going to be fantastic. My God, it's going to be so good. 
it, it'll probably be shit. Um, I say that it's going to be good. It probably will be absolutely dire. But uh, we'll, we'll probably lose money off the back of it as well. But you never know. I mean, come on. It might be okay. Do we want to make use of this space here? Do you want to like just put like two two residential areas here which aren't going to be like very good they're probably going to be low wealth because they're just outside of the aura i could put like a little park down here though i can make like a a formal park down here oh look i got this as well i forgot to tell you guys about this sim city launch park look at that it's got a, a red heart balloon it raises high wealth land value and attracts 150 visitors per day, apparently. Sims from across your city will flood this park to celebrate the launch of awesome, exclusive hot air balloons. Does that mean that we'll get hot air balloons in the city? That would be nice. I wouldn't mind some hot air balloons in the city. Uh, can we place this, like, over here? 15,000 to place? It's probably going to be worth it. Oh, shit. Do we have any more upgrades? No, we don't. Have we ever had an upgrade? Yeah, we have. Level 4. What's our approval rating right now? Residential happiness. These people are unhappy. It's the high wealth. Uh, people are dying. Angry kids weren't able to go to class. Not enough shopping around here. And they need money. The high wealth need money. 67% approval rating. We're going to have to sort out some of this stuff. Jesus. That's not the best. Uh, what, uh, what's going on with schools then? Is the college just not enough? <coughs> 2,776 students taught yesterday. Jeez, that's not too bad. Do we need, like, a school bus stop? <laughs> we need school bus stops. Uh, oh, do we not have any coverage for school buses down here? We don't. Oh, look at this. It adds to the uh, land value down here as well. Okay, fine. Let's get some school bus stops then. I don't know why these people can't just make their way to school. It's kind of dumb, but there we go. We'll place a whole bunch in here as well. All these people can now go to school. Hurrah! Look, they're so happy that they can take a school bus for little kids to college. Uh, I don't know how happy I would be about that. But oh my God. Jeez, the music. Holy shit. It just creeps up on you every once in a while, the old music. Uh, are we doing really bad for traffic? We seem to be. Look, there's a lot of people wanting to come down here. I don't know if actually having this uh, connect up like this is the best. Maybe that it's enough, actually, that there's two joiner roads there. Um, because look at this is... This is like a bit of a traffic hotspot at the moment. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of people using the old ferry terminal. Do we, should we just disconnect this road? Without knocking down all this? Can we... There we go, look. That might sort out the traffic. It looks shit, but it might actually sort out the traffic. Oh, look at the buses. They're trying to get here, but they can't. That's okay. Uh, I think actually having the ferry terminal just feed onto this feeder avenue is probably um, the best use of that area. Uh, without it getting too clogged up here. It's okay because we've got two um, roads feeding onto this feeder avenue on this side. So that should be okay. All right, fine. What's going on with the density of these places? Where's the shopping in town? Is there not any room for them to... Oh, no, they're just not even thinking about becoming uh, even medium density yet. I think it's because there's a lack of shopping. Even though there's a medium skate park, a b-ball court, and a tennis court, like, right across the street from them that they could do all their shopping at. Because <laughs> that's apparently how this game works. Fine. 1.7 million in the bank. 7,387 in the green per hour. Which is very good. Excellent. Um, the density of uh, this area is definitely on the increase, which is very good. Lots of medium wealth. What are the demanding now? We've got a lot of demands for low wealth commercial, apparently. Uh, demands for shops. And dark blue is the regional demand for shops. We know how that works, so that's fine. Oh, shit. Look at this. How are we doing? Doors open. Starts at 8 p.m. The World Championship. It is now 3 p.m. Our current payout is terrible. Our attendance is also terrible, but it seems to be creeping up. Maybe people are starting to show up now because uh, work is done and uh, because they want to have a, uh, a really good glimpse at this dilapidated building with a massive hole inside of it uh, from angry rioting and looting. <laughs> we'll have to knock that over. There's not enough workers, apparently. I don't know how that works. We've got more than enough workers in this region. Look, there's 162,000 people living in this city. How can there not be enough workers? I don't get it. Uh, maybe it's uh, maybe it's because we need to go over to San Francisco as well and uh, and boost that up a bit. Look, it's 
Jeez, San Francisco, it's been a while since we've been there, but look at it. It looks majestic from here. Look at all the tall buildings. Holy shit, I totally forgot that um, we'd gotten somewhat of a population boost in San Francisco. That's very good. All right, excellent. Uh, are we doing any better here? Attendance is very poor. We don't even have a thousand people turning up to this thing yet uh, for some reason, and it starts in an hour. Have 2,000 sims take a cruise in a day. <laughs> fantastic. Cruising along. Getting so many chivos. It's fantastic. Um, is it because the traffic is, like, totally jammed? Do we have, like, bus stops and stuff? Oh, maybe we need bus stop. Oh, shit. There's a streetcar stop, but I don't think there's a bus stop. Oh, no, there is a bus stop. There's one right there. Maybe we need another one here, too, as well. Is that... Do you think that'll help? More people on the buses to come to the, uh, to the World Championship soccer game? Oh, shit, look, the attendance shot up. Over 3,000 now. And the event has started. It's been on for like an hour and a half. Uh, I don't think we're going to get any money off the back of this. We may just cover our costs on it. But at least it's better than the last one. I think our attendance was much higher. And that's probably because we got the ferry terminal, uh, the airport. How many people did we service today? 380. That's not too bad, actually. Uh, better than it has been. And 675 uh, train passengers a day. God, that's not very good. That's actually pretty embarrassing. Oh, look. The championship is over. Who knows who won? Maybe it'll tell us. 3,231 people decided to attend. That's not too bad. Okay, fine. Great. Uh, so, Sip City, we managed to get rid of the recycling center, which is very good. Let's head over to San Francisco for a bit and try to boost up the... Um, the population there for a little bit and uh, get some more research done on the uh, on the space center and then hopefully uh, once the population has increased a little bit in Sip City and also in San Francisco we can go back to Sipsville and hopefully people will be working there because it's becoming a little bit of a problem oh my god oh it's so nice in San Francisco it's been so long since we last been here as well. It feels like it's been about like a, like a million episodes since we were last here. But it's not. That's not the case, obviously. It's probably only realistically been like two or three, maybe. So a little bit off. Fine. Uh, Sips and Sipsville has stopped sending power to you. Supply will run out soon, apparently. That's nice, Sipsville. All the way over there. Look, we can see the trade HQ from here. Uh, Sipsville spreads recycling awareness to San Francisco. Great. So now we are uh, producing recyclables, apparently. Uh, or not. We're still zero. Uh, there should be some recycling trucks turning up here at some point, though. And we should be able to collect uh, some recyclables from here. That would be great. We may need to build another dump in Sipsville. Uh, because the population of San Francisco is rising. And uh, the population of Sip City is like 160,000 or something. Uh, I don't think one dump is going to be able to handle all of the garbage that these two cities produce, uh, especially if it's just being handled by Sipsville. So we'll have to take a look at that. How are we doing with our progress towards the Space Center? 33% research. Look, there's a whole bunch of students at the university today helping research the Space Center as well, which is very good. Great. Uh, how are we looking uh, with land value? The land value along the front here is phenomenal. All of these places should be high wealth, which is very good. We've got really good coverage for high and medium wealth in this center area. And then we've got some uh, low wealth just on the sides here, which is fine too. They should hopefully be traveling out to Sipsville to work. That would be very good. Uh, do we want to get uh, another road in here so that we can get some more residences? I think we probably do, actually. Let's get another road uh, curve in here. Like this. And connect? No, we don't want it to connect to that road. It's already going to be, like, really bad. We'll have it like that, and then we can get some more uh, houses in here. Great. Make some use of that space, because it's a little bit of a waste of space at the moment. Oh, look at all these people... Our, look at the construction is just like going nuts around here. Everybody wants to live in this part of town. It's probably because of the train station, which is actually servicing 2,563 people a day. Holy shit, that's fantastic. We're making 1,606 bucks an hour, which is very good. That'll all be off the back of taxes. And we've got just shy of half a million in the bank, too, uh, which is very good. And look at this area. Holy shit, look at Rubber Bank. Oh, my God. And random walk mutual funds, uh, which is closed for the day and I think might need 
workers, yeah. There's workers needed. I don't know if uh, traffic's becoming more of a problem in the city. It's kind of hard to tell, actually. I mean, it seems very bad here and up here, but generally things seem to be flowing somewhat, uh, which is good. Uh, region view. What's it trying to tell me about the region? Uh, the Great Works. Okay, fine. We're not too interested in that yet uh, because we want the Space Center. 33% still, fine. It's going to take a little while, but there's enough to do in San Francisco anyway, uh, so that that can just sort of research away. I think we wanted to make a landmark uh, here, up here. A lot of people were saying to go for the uh, Opera House because it's very big. I think that's a pretty good idea. Can we... we I don't think we can quite afford it yet. Uh, we should probably save up the money instead of getting it from Sip City so that San Francisco could turn around and say, I did it my way. I did it all by myself. Uh, and I didn't need any help from you, Sip City, you big bastard. Uh, let's take a look and see. How much is it going to cost and uh, how much is it going to generate? Opera House. Where the hell is it? It's right here. Oh, it's only 200000 to place. We could do it right now. It's 2000 bucks an hour, which we can afford as well. Look at the fucking size of it. We can place it here. We can get a ferry terminal there. Attract some people into it straight away. Mm -hmm. I'm very tempted. I am very, very, very... I, I'm so tempted that I'm actually just going to do it. God, this is going to be fantastic. Holy shit. Okay, fine. We need a road. We need one high-density road, uh, which is going to curve. Wait, look, it's going to curve. Not like there. Not, no, no, please no. We want it to go down here and curve like this, if possible. And uh, actually, if it curved even like that, it's much better. Oh, look, this is going to be great. Holy crap, this is going to be really good. That's a nice curve as well. That's actually a very nice curve. One of the best. All right, we're going to curve it like this so that we can make some uh, residences along the side there as well. Maybe some commercial buildings if there's demand for them. Uh, we're going to place the opera house like in here. And then we're going to have a ferry terminal connected to this little corner as well. And it's going to be great. And we should actually be able to afford it. Maybe not the terminal straight away, but definitely the opera house, uh, which is nice. We're going to place it right. Oh, look at that. That is majestic. Holy shit, that is majestic. Okay, great. Boom. It's open. High tourist demand. More tourists want to come to your city now because we placed this goddamn opera house. Look at the fucking size of it. It's huge. Jesus. All right, great. Uh, buses. Let's get some bus uh, stops out front here. That's going to be great. Oh, well, one bus stop, so you can take the bus to the opera house. Very good. Uh, let's also check what our demand is like. Oh, we're 600 bucks. Uh, in the hole per hour now. We've got a little bit of uh, low wealth commercial demand, uh, which is all right. That means that we can probably place some along here uh, so that if people uh, don't want to spend all day inside the uh, opera house, they can come out here and have an ice cream instead. And, uh, and then I get very angry and throw the ice cream at the opera house. Oh, look at this. You can actually schedule events here too. I didn't realize you could do this. Oh, that's really good. Look, the attendance, 2,679. What can we schedule? Oh my God. Look at this. Good day, mate. Let's put some opera on the Barbie. <laughs> uh, okay, medium and high wealth residents and tourists will uh, turn up here and, uh, and watch a an opera at the opera house. I didn't even think that that was a thing. I didn't even think it was used for operas. Is it actually used for operas? I thought maybe it was just like, uh, not used for anything now. People could just go in it and, um, and throw ice creams at each other because it's like a tourist attraction. That's fantastic. Holy shit. It's going to cost us 53000 to put this on, but we can make uh, a maximum profit of 106000 What time is it? Like 2 p.m.? Let's do it. Let's see if we can get some people to turn up to this. Uh, when's the event going to be? Oh, it's scheduled for tomorrow. So we've got a whole bunch of time for people to turn up to this now. Fantastic. Holy shit, that's so cool. Okay, great. Perfect. It's 3 p.m. This is scheduled for tomorrow. We can make a little bit of money off of this. Uh, and it just works like uh, its own like expo center or whatever. That's great. I don't know if we're going to be able to get the tourists that we need uh, to turn up to it. But it's worth trying just to see where we're at anyway. Uh, look at this. Holy shit. All these places are expanding now. Look at it. Lots of construction happening down here. These are going to be commercial premises, which is very good. Uh, demand is all regional for residential. 
there's a little bit of local demand for low wealth commercial and of course there's a lot of local demand for industrial uh what i mean these people should be actually going out to sipsville but they don't appear to want to ever do that um for some reason well i can't blame them actually it's like it's like a fallout site over there uh and you probably get contract a whole bunch of diseases and stuff from working in it so maybe that's why i i probably just answered my own question okay great well opera house set up we can improve this area and get a ferry terminal probably next episode uh we can continue to uh in improve the density of the uh of the city as well and we're up to 40 percent researched on the space center great work which is fantastic it's going to be great to get that underway and uh and achieve that that's going to be so good okay great uh as usual thanks for watching and uh i'll see you next time <laughs>